I'm in study hall and sophomore, junior year. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm working on some paper or something, but I'm goofing off at the same time, just being me. And the conversation started happening between myself and the study hall teacher. And she makes a comment of, what do you want to do? I said, you know what, I'm going to own my own business and I'm going to do this and that. And I start telling her what my dreams were. And uh, she laughed, you know, and made the comment of, yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what a thing to tell a kid, right? We knew it couldn't be done. We said it couldn't be done for years. challenge in high school for me because it was a high school of the ones that had it and the ones that didn't necessarily get it. So we joke sometimes and we say, you know, you got your um, most likely to achieve crowd and then you got your these other diamonds in the rough that just need to be worked with in a different way. So I had a very challenging time in, in, in high school as one of those diamonds in the rough. I got put through a very, very powerful drill um, by my Marine Corps father, um, who just one day sat me down at the kitchen table and said, hey, look, you know, I know you're not getting the results that you want. Nobody likes to just continue to have to struggle and go through the things that you're doing. I'm challenging you to sit here at the kitchen table until you come up with a plan. He had been giving me books to read and he started off with stuff that was just entertaining and then he got into different things like um, George Clayson the richest man in Babylon and just these different type, types of, of uh, books and information so I just started writing and at first it was one of those drills where I don't really want to do this I really want to get up I really want to go outside I really want to do something else uh, but as I started writing it started getting good to me so I got the paper to this day. It's just amazing how close to this paper uh, my life has followed. And so on that paper was, uh, I had had some experiences in speaking prior to that, so I definitely want to do something in speaking. I definitely want to do something in business. And this is where the paper just went just wild at. I started writing down that uh, I want to own real estate and inside these little communities. What I would call now, um, being educated on, on urban planning, what I would call urban or community revitalization. Uh, back then I just called it the master plan. Now that I have this down on paper, what starts to happen is uh, a vision starts to get locked in. You know, so now that I got this vision locked in, I can see the picture more clear goes back to my, me and my construction side of uh, taking either something that was a vacant lot or um, an old abandoned building and you can see the vision in your head of what this thing will look like when it's transformed. Our life can be the same way, you know. You see the transformation happen this side. <laughs> wow, that's, that's powerful. For me, it's always been something very, very important to be able to, to give back and to try and inspire and encourage others. I got encouraged even to do motivational speaking um, at a very young age through church and through youth organizations. Um, and people just really pushing me to step up even when sometimes um, I didn't want to. They still just made me uh, get out there. And the more I got out there, the more I liked it, the more comfortable I, I got in front of the crowd. 
I'm still that way. I talk to anybody, anybody that'll listen. Mom got mom got to be included in the conversation too because what she was very big on was um, dream building. She said uh, 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 the spiritual, the humble, um, the the quiet storm, man. She really, <laughs> you know, is yeah, she amazing. I still got my struggle, I still go through my challenges, you know? But that's, again, that's the other thing that um, you can see some time in delivery of my message. I, I can specifically speak to a few things. One was um, the death of a very close friend at a young age that, for me, it was almost therapeutic to talk about it in front of the crowd um, like I did. But then afterwards, I had no idea how many people that that topic would, would resonate with. My fear is that the thought or what I'm trying to convey sometimes is not conveyed where you like get it. Makes sense? Makes sense? Yeah. Good. Courage is the opposite of fear, right? I'm a visionary. I am somebody that likes to see action happen. I'm somebody that likes to encourage action happening. I am uh, a father, a brother. I'd like to have the opportunity to inspire, I do. Um, I'd like to see change, I'd like to see transformation. I don't want to be redundant, but that's who I am. You can be, do, and have anything that you want in your life.